videos, and then I'm going to tag it with this at the end. So there we go. And this is where Sailor's Bait and Grocery used to be here on Broadway Lake Road. This is where people come to get their groceries, uh, bait and tackle, uh, to fish here at Broadway Lake. Sailor's Bait and Grocery here on Broadway Lake Road Extension. And this is the old Bill's Landing here at Broadway Lake. Back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, on the weekends, this is where everybody came. They had great food here, live bands, swimming, and people from everywhere came here. I remember these little roads here was packed. You couldn't even hardly walk down through here. And right up there on the hill used to be the uh, restroom was a white block building. But here it is. This is the old Bill's Landing here at Broadway Lake. Anderson, South Carolina. And this is Broadway Lake here in Anderson, South Carolina. Uh, this is where I was raised, and believe it or not, I still live here. I love this place. But this is Broadway Lake, Anderson, South Carolina. And this is Broadway Lake Bridge and Spillway. Here in Anderson, South Carolina. A lot of people has went over that one lane bridge. Probably thousands and thousands over the years. And it's still standing. As far as I know, they have never redone it since I've been living. And I was born back in the 50s. So that ought to tell you something. It's really been a good bridge. And there's Broadway Lake Road. And there's the lake again, Broadway Lake. Broadway Lake. And the Broadway Lake Bridge and Spillway. And on the weekends, over here mainly, there was no trees at all. It was just like sandy, sandy area right there. And a little bank, people would come here and they'd fish. They cook, swim, and uh, matter of fact, on both sides, you couldn't even hardly get in here. It was so packed. And to the left here was the first hydroelectric plant uh, generator that produced uh, electric power to uh, the first mills here in Anderson. I guess that's why they call Anderson the electric city because of that. If you want to see that generator, you can go downtown Anderson and see it. They have it on display. Anyway, uh, this is Rocky River, and we're here at High Shows and Crybaby Bridge. And this is the most famous bridge in South Carolina, believe it or not. They call it the Crybaby Bridge. Uh, if you want to know some info about it, uh, just go to YouTube and enter Crybaby Bridge, Anderson, South Carolina, and you'll see several videos of different people, including me, doing some stories about the bridge. I don't want to go in detail about what I know about it, but if you want to find out a little bit more about it, just enter Crybaby Bridge. Anderson, South Carolina. And there it is. It's on High Shows Road. And if I'm mistaken, I believe that's Rocky River that runs under it, which runs into uh, Lake Succession.
once again now, back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Let me go across the street here, uh, across the bridge. This is the new bridge they built. Uh, back then, this is where people would also come on the weekends. All this was, there was no trees here, no trees over there. And this is the well-known McFall's Landing here off of Broadway Lake Road here in Anderson, South Carolina. Uh, this is where a lot of people come to uh, launch their boat off, jet skis, here at the lake. Here is the old Owens Corning fiberglass plant here on 81 Highway South of Anderson. As you can see, it's closed down. I remember that parking lot used to be full of cars. There it is. I knew a lot of people, friends and relatives, they used to work here, a lot of them retired here. And here is the old master's store here on 81 south of Anderson. I remember that store. When I was a kid, Daddy used to stop in there all the time. So that's uh, the old master's store. And here's the old Gluck uh, Mill Playhouse, which is down here off of South Main in Anderson, Homeland Park. I know a lot of you, if you ever lived in here, you remember this place. And uh, right next door was the old Gluck Mill. I'm gonna try to get some shots of that. And uh, this is what's uh, left of the old Gluck Mill here in uh, Anderson, south of Anderson, on, off of South Main Street which is in Homeland Park. A lot of people worked there over the years. Some retired there. But as you can see, that's what's left of it. I think it's spelled G-L-U-C-K. I think that's right. It was called the Gluck Mill. And right next to it, where I'm standing here, is the old playhouse again. Which is still standing. Uh, today is August the 23rd, 2022. Once again, this is in Homeland Park, south of Anderson, here in Anderson, South Carolina. And this is, uh, used to be the old Pieces Beer Joint, right there on South Main. Pieces Beer Joint. Boy, that was a busy place back in the 60s and 70s. South Main Street, Homeland Park. And there's the old Lucky's Grocery Store here in Homeland Park. I remember that place. Lucky's. The 
still standing, still going. And there is the old Homeland Park supermarket grocery store. They're on South Main Street, right next to the uh, fire department. I've been in there many times, too. Yeah, I think it was John's Welding. Yep, there it is, John's Welding Shop. But originally, Homeland Park Supermarket. Still standing. And here is the old Homeland Park Fire Department on South Main. And right yonder is the brand new one. But this is the old Homeland Park Fire Department. South Main Street, Homeland Park, South Bella. There stands the old Homeland Park water tank. Still standing and still servicing the people down here in the Homeland Park area. There's a lot of water up there, folks. And what do you know? I'm down here at White Jones. Hardware and all the businesses down here. As you can see straight ahead is White Jones Hardware. And to the right there, there's been a lot of businesses in there over the years. As a matter of fact, uh, WRIX Radio used to be right there. I worked there. Uh, it was WRX FM Radio, WRX Gospel, and WANS AM. As you can see, it's still standing. I'm mistaken, that was the grocery store when it first started. And down through yonder is the post office. This is uh, Watson Village here in Homeland Park, south of Anderson, South Carolina. And uh, once again, there was the uh, OWRIX radio station. I worked there a couple years for Mr. Matt Phillips, who was the owner. Uh, I guess the most popular show they had there was the Matt and Bell show, which was in the mornings. But that was WRIX radio and WANS radio. There is the old Long John Silvers. Me and my wife used to eat that quite a bit. Long John Silvers. As you can see, it's shut down here on Shopper Ferry Road. Right next to you, well, right across the street from White Jones. Uh, once again, this is the uh, New Silverbrook Cemetery here on Shockley Ferry Road. I have a lot of relatives and friends that are buried here. One in particular is my granddaddy, my mother's father, he, Guy Poo. He's buried right down here. And then Captain Bob Edison with the Anderson City Police Department. He is buried straight ahead yonder. He was a real good friend of mine. We used to play music together a lot. Had a lot of good times together. But right in front of me, as you can see, there's a plant. And it used to be a mill, 
A lot of you people out there might know the name of that mill, what it used to be called. But as you can see, it starts young and it was a long mill. You see on Shockerfield Road, uh, right across from uh, this cemetery, New Silverbrook Cemetery. If anybody on here knows, uh, please come and let us know uh, what the name of that mill used to be called. I know it, but I just can't think of it. And uh, this is the old Silverbrook Cemetery here on White Street. I have a lot of friends and uh, relatives that are also buried here. As you can see there, it looks like the roof might need some repair in there. All right, city, come on down and get that fixed. Okay, everybody. Um, this is Jimmy again. I'm down here on South Main Street in Anderson, and what you're looking at right there is the old Or Mill. I believe I'm right on that. O R R Mill. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But I'm pretty sure that's the old Or Mill, which is located here close to Anderson on South Main Street. That's what's left of it. And uh, right across the street, I can't remember what was there, but it used to be a service station back when I was a little boy. A lot of you people, it's past 60, 70, 80, will know what this is, what it used to be, but I can't remember the name of it, it was a service station, but it's right across the street from the uh, oil mill here on South Main. Okay folks, there's the famous Roy's Diner here on South Main Street in Anderson. Well, I've been there many times. It's called Roy's Diner. As you can see, they're still in business. Right here on South Main Street in Anderson, South Carolina. And what you're looking at it right there is George's Cafe. Great hamburgers, hamburger steaks, breakfast. Located here on South Main Street in Anderson, South Carolina. George's Restaurant.